this is the most crucial for the women why they do get the headache is a super simple problem generally the women after the male sorry after the marriage or the before the marriage the women get the problem about the oftenly obtaining the headache causing the migraine headache causing the cluster headache causing the occipital temporal and you know various kinds of the headache and the stress is more for them anxieties are more depressions are more hysteria schizophrenia so many related the mind and the psychosomatic related diseases will going to happen to the girl or women especially for the girl girl i mean to say the who don't get the marriage for the span of 24 years or 25 years at the same time till 30 years they are not getting the marriage they oftenly get the headache as well after the marriage they will get the headache also what could be the reason but here i wanted to give you as a good information that is not that you should not make this wrong kind of the thought in your mind which is the essential information you keep it in your mind because every woman after the marriage they required they required is a pleasantable feeling always in the globe they wanted to know anything is the awesome kind of the feeling or some kind of the pleasantable feeling when doing the coitus when doing the coitus means joining the male and female the female in and then male is the young when joining together making the pleasantable blissful and happy happiness always so that situation is required after the marriage that means is joining together when the person is after the marriage and he could not love properly to the wife that particular situation definitely the woman will get the headache i mean to say when is not meeting or joining together weekly once or twice we are not the male and female are not joining together that means coitus coitus means is a intercourse when they don't do precisely every now and then that leads to the headache because this particular point is the resuscitation point this particular point is the adrenergic point this particular point to be known as a consciousness point this point to be known as a harmony point this point to be known as a equilibrium point this point to be known as a making the harmony between the male and female and also feeling the thought of the orgasm once will come you know come to the female at the same time semen come out from the male so definitely that feel kind of the relaxation for the whole day he feel pleasantable at the same time when the newly married people they are doing the coitus every day they feel that very awesome all the time at the same time at the person at the age of 30 years doing the coitus at least weekly once or twice is recommended at the age of the at the age of the 35 years at least the weekly once is recommended to meet each other at the same time 40 years also weekly once is recommended at the age of 50 years minimum fortnightly it is required at the age of 60 years at least a monthly once to be required to meet each other so making the pleasantable and harmony because essence is required together orgasm also required when joining together that kind of the feeling not i am telling you join together with the pleasantable way with the happy way with a good relationship with the husband and wife relationship ship and also thought process will be good because we are understanding each other when the person is is sit lying down the bed chamber is when when the wife is sleeping in the one chamber the husband is sleeping in the another chamber then making the pleasantable or unpleasantable you can judge on it but how many days can sustain this but of course cannot sustain for the longer interval that's the reason who in point is very much important not only doing the coitus get the pleasant pleasantable that pleasantable is good for the cns isn't it when the central nervous system which we call as a happy hormone which we call as a dopamine and you know melatonin serotonin will release us in the body that will be really really essential when we understand about the estrogen when we understand about the testosterone and progesterone all are required all are required to male all are required to female as well when this doing the coitus it releases naturally when the both the hormones are good to the female and male definitely the orgasm will be successful at the same time male can give the happiness to the female and vice versa 
they, you understand the female gets a kind of the phobia that I could not able to do that at the same time the spermatic cord which we call as a something there is a fluid which we call as a prostatic fluid comes for the lubrication that lubrication is not happening to the body so that time doing the great difficulty doing the coitus will be difficult so that particular time is female gets that no I don't have to do any kind of the coitus because we understand is the low libido we understand the sexual drive will be more that understand there is there will be there will be good good kind of the essence is released essence are nothing but is the two kind of the essence for the male and female male essence to be known as a sperm the other orgasm to be known as a female essence so essence together is joining together that will be really awesome to get joining together that is required for the production that's required for the reproduction that is required for the growth and development of the human system isn't it so therefore you make sure that iska matlab ye nahi hai then you can do it